You know what, you just can't use slump test for checking the workability of low slump concretes. Yes, concretes we mostly use in mass dam structures or road pavements have significantly low values of slump. For all such concrete, we use compaction factor tests to check the workability of concrete. So guys, welcome back to IamCivilEngineer.com, your very own YouTube channel. Our today's amazing video is about workability of concrete through compaction factor test. So let's get started. Compaction factor test works on the principles of determining the degree of compaction. The special apparatus of compaction factor test allows the concrete to fall under standard heights. Afterwards, the degree of compaction and the compaction factor is measured by the density ratio. Let's now look at the apparatus we'll use. The apparatus for compaction factor test comprised of two cone-shaped hoppers made up of brass or bronze. Their lower ends are fixed with tight hinge openings ideal for quick release and catch. These hoppers are attached with a bottom cylinder on a particular axis. A steel rod with dimension of 61 cm length by 1.6 cm diameter is used as reference to level the concrete. You also need a weight balance to measure the weight of concrete samples and empty weight of concrete cylinder. Make sure the balance is able to weigh up to 1 gram. You need a hand shove to handle concrete sample. Let's now perform the test and note down the procedure for your information. Be sure that conical hoppers are free of moisture. Apply grease to the sides and close the trapdoor of the top hopper. Now scoop the concrete sample to be tested gently in the topmost hopper and fill it up to its brim with the help of a hand scoop. Now level the top surface properly. Cover the brim with the lid. Now open the hinge trap doors of this filled hopper to allow the concrete to fall freely into second hopper. The mixture may sometimes stick to the upper or bottom hopper. Use rod to push it gently into the hopper from its sides. Keep the bottom most cylinder covered with trowel during the process of rotting. Now uncover the cylinder and allow the trap doors of the bottom hopper to be open up and let the concrete fall into the bottom most cylinder. Level the concrete in the cylinder by cutting off the excess with the help of trowels and level it with rod. Gently clean the external surface of the cylinder. Now weight the cylinder to the nearest 10 grams with concrete in it. This weight will be considered as weight of partially compacted concrete W1. Remove the concrete and empty the cylinder. Fill it up again and again with the same sample mixture in the form of layers, each layer about 5 cm deep every time and fully rammed to ensure the tight compaction of concrete particles. Again level the cylinder with rod every time. Weight the cylinder when filled with fully rammed concrete. This will be weight during full compaction W2. At the end or at the start of procedure make sure to measure the weight of empty cylinder as well. This will be W. Now, we can determine the compaction factor as the ratio between the weight of partially compacted concrete with the weight of fully compacted concrete. We can correlate the value of compaction factor with the degree of workability using the table. The more the value of this factor, the more will be workability of concrete. So, that's all about our today's video. Please don't forget to hit subscribe and give it a big thumbs up. I'll see you now in the next video.